Justification doctrine educates one and all that when you are being critical about something, you're minimizing the transgressions you have on that person. And nobody is more guilty of doing that than the Church of Scientology because of all these labels, the labels I just gave you, right? Um, there was a, a wonderful guy in Israel who sort of ran a mission to help local Israelis. Anyway, he did everything. He went up to OT7, blah, blah, blah. And the moment he stepped out, the church did a hate website calling him a drug runner, belonging to nothing less than a drug cartel. 35 years in the church? He said, drug runner. Well, what was the church doing, servicing him for 35 years, taking his money? If he really was a drug, it is just absurd. It's absurd. What the doctrines say and what actually goes on are two schizophrenic snakes with different heads, completely opposing facts. People are trained on justifications, which is attacking the target of who you've harmed. But then Scientology Inc. creates hate pages of their veterans, CEO members who've served 20, 30, 40 years, and calls them everything under this. Murderers, drug runners, prostitutes, adulterers, um, violent felons, wife batterers. The church uses these kind of labels to minimize their transgressions on what they've done internally. Paul Haggis was never Sea Org, and they did some blustering stuff calling him a a nobody and a third rate blah blah blah. This is an Academy Award winner of two, two Academy Awards. Attack. They attack the person who whistleblows. There's quite a misunderstood out there that every auditing session is just fabulous and you talk to your counselor and you just fly and feel happy at the end. No! As much as 70% of auditing is repair, correction, correctionless, after cramming, auditor retread, errors, 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 but the church would never apologize and say, you know what, we screwed up on that. We, we did something wrong. No! money. We need another 50 hours to clean up the errors we just made. You pay. The church hates, hates to give a free session. It does not want to fix you up for free, no matter what it did wrong. Karen, I'm shocked to hear that 70% of the sessions in the Church of Scientology are repair. Yes, yes, yes. Could you yes. elaborate? Well, uh, <laughs> things go wrong in a session. The auditor puts on an attitude. The auditor gets mad at the PC. The PC collapses or the PC goes unconscious. I mean, things happen in session. And so sessions are not just moving up the bridge. A huge amount of sessions are trying to fix and repair bad auditing, bad service, bad cycle with the MAA, bad coerced extortion of money from salespeople just before session and just after session. I had, I had, um, I had a couple of people tell me how the flag land base is a rigged casino. You cannot win. If you come out happy, 
the salespeople jump on you for more money. Look, you're smiling. Did you have, did you have a win? Hey, we need another 10,000 for way to happiness. Come on, look at, look at what you just got out of the, so your session win is crushed. And I've had people tell me, they don't want you to win. They don't want you to have a happy face. They want more money. I don't think it's known that you can't leave the flag land base without going through seven layers or tiers of regs or salespeople. The IAS have to sign you off that you've given a donation. ID log programs have to sign you off that you've given more money. Then knocking on CCHR, all these other court, LRH Museum, blah, blah. Seven different people have to authorize by signature that you're allowed to leave and that you've given them more money in addition to the money you've paid for services. Well, don't you also get reg when you go into flag? Oh, yes. So yes. they get you on the way in. They get you on the way in, they get you on the way out. And they get you on breaks and they get you on meal times. And they're even allowed to haul you out of course rooms. It used to be biblical that no one can interfere with students on course. But now students are hauled out of course to give money, to be asked for more money. It, it's a runaway train of just give us more money. It's a runaway money extortion racket. And they sort of use repairs and auditing to keep you going? Well, repair is because people are so upset with the way things are running, with the money coercion, with all of this. So counseling doesn't work over the top of being very upset. So what you're describing is a vicious cycle. A Scientologist in the church is trying to win in session, but they're being financially brutalized and emotionally brutalized outside of session. It happens a lot. And probably that's the one reason I hear over and over again, I will never go back to flag. I hear that phrase over and over and over again. I'm done with flag. I'm Stacy Brooks with the Lisa McPherson Trust, and I'm very happy to be here today with Maria Pia Gardini from Italy. She contacted us after she was defrauded by the Church of Scientology of over two million dollars. Unfortunately, we get calls like Maria Pia's nearly every day. Scientology is trying to convince the world that it's a benevolent, caring religion that's being discriminated against unjustly. Listen to this woman's story and decide for yourself what is the true face of Scientology. At that point, I start to be afraid. Mm -hmm. I said, they have my passport. Tito Mats understand Italian. If I say to Franco Baggio, don't give the money, I will never get out of here. Mm. But I had the force to say, Franco, if you want to give the money, but I'm afraid I don't know how much taxes I have to pay. And Dave Foster start to yell at me. I was becoming a couple of centimeters shorter every time he was open the mouth. Mm. He was yelling at me and I was saying, no. What was he saying it. to you? You are not a good Scientologist, you are a bitch. That's not the way to act in life. Your properties are Scientology properties. I say, why? My parents are working their whole life to make that property. No, you have to give that. You don't want to help your country. You don't know how to help Italy. You are a bitch. He told me that I was a bitch like 10 times. At the end, I say, no, I don't want to. He slapped me. He slapped you? Yeah, on the face. And that <gasps> was the moment I, w I went in terror. I say, <gasps> I will never get out alive from here. 
One time, a kid got a bucket of ice water dumped on top of his head when he was late, even though it was 6.30 in the morning. She says seven days a week, children as young as six had long days on the ranch. In addition to reading, writing, and arithmetic classes and studying Scientology, she says there were physical chores. These projects range from rock hauling, taking rocks out of the creek, picking them up, hauling them up the hill, putting them in a pile, and these were usually to make um, rock walls. As a little girl, she says she remembers weeding for hours. And we would do this no matter how hot or how cold it was outside. The latest PR hit involves a former high-ranking insider named Debbie Cook, who's being sued by the church and is fighting back by making headline-generating allegations in open court about what she says happened to her behind the scenes in the Church of Scientology. I was put in a trash can, cold water poured over me, um, slapped. I know it's wrong. It, it needs to get exposed, it needs to get confronted, and it needs to get handled. It, it can't go on. The next one, the floor tackled in furniture. Gilm punched and tackled in furniture. Mark Yeager punched. Mark Ingberg tackled in the furniture. Ray Midoff punched. Norman Starkey slapped multiple times, punched multiple times, kicked multiple times, thrown to the floor multiple times, and tackled into furniture multiple times. Wendell Reynolds tackled into furniture. Uh, what kinds of incidents did you see? Regularly, David Miscavige would, uh, in the middle of a conference, in a conference room full of people at the in base, physically assault and uh, punch, slap open-handed, grab by the neck, throw to the floor, uh, a number of international executives. I mean, almost the, you know, the very highest part of the Church of Scientology international hierarchy from the WDC chairman, which is the highest post within CSI, which is Mark Yeager. Uh, he got beat on in, in, in the 2000s. I probably saw him get beat up pretty severely half a dozen to a dozen times. Mark Ingber, who also held that post but was more often on the dub, uh, uh, watchdog committee member for finance, which is the highest, highest financial person within the ecclesiastical hierarchy, I saw him slap him around, you know, beat him up on a number of occasions.